Okay, there's been a lot of talk around Arsenal this week. Uh, the Granite Xhaka substitution that led to those incredible scenes where he, you know, was roundly booed by the supporters and it appeared to really affect him. It upset him a lot and, you know, he ripped his shirt off straight down the tunnel. And now news emerging that he's being given counselling to, you know, to try and get through this period in his Arsenal career and come through it you know come through the other side um but as part of as part of this whole sort of saga is you know people are looking at Unai Emery uh you know and his any any optimism around Emery being some kind of savior after Arsene Wenger appears to be diminishing quite rapidly now and some people are saying that Emery's you know, could have done a lot to prevent this. He's he's overusing Xhaka. He's you know making him his making him the captain and and but constantly having him on the pitch as his on field general when he's not necessarily in favour if, with fans. Not taking him out of the limelight or rotating him as much as he, he maybe should be doing. That Emery should be shouldering some of the blame here that it's come to this. That's one of the suggestions. Now that does interest me because I do believe that. Emery is one of a number of excellent managers from a previous working with players from a previous generation who were really struggling in this modern era. Extroverted thinking is his driver state, and you know this is a common theme that I'm finding with certain managers that I've got a lot of respect for what they've done previously in the careers. Jose Mourinho is the obvious example that his methods quite clearly worked up to a point in his career. And now he struggled to make the same impact with players. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll separate it into Generation X and Millennials. I personally believe that around 2012, you know, give or take a year, different in, in, in any dressing room, I suppose. But dressing rooms started to become populated by predominantly millennial footballers. And their attitude is entirely different to Generation X footballers. And that, you know, there's no... There's no clear cut-off point where it all changed one day and all, you know what I mean, but there's been a gradual phase from one generation to the next and now we're seeing dressing rooms populated only, for, well, yeah, only by millennial footballers. And Emery's one, for me, is a manager that was an excellent tactician. Um, he's, you know, in terms of his, his ability to prepare teams for games from a tactical standpoint, Taking the human, uh, uh, you know, the human piece out of it, taking the the managing of relationships and emotional dynamics of a of a group or individuals, taking that part out of it and just purely on his tactical football information, I've always respected him as a very very good coach. I remember him coming through at Almeria. Uh, my first four years living in Valencia were with Emery as the the, the manager, and. You know, he was a very, very good manager. He didn't give away points cheaply. He, you know, he wasn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination. Some Valencia fans had issues with him, his style of football and things like that. But Valencia had no right, in the circumstances they were in at the time and the financial troubles that they had, they had no right to be finishing top four every season. But bar the first season, they were getting Champions League football every year under Emery. Similar circumstances followed at Sevilla. Same thing, all his Europa League successes, winning you know Europa League titles on the back of continually qualifying for Europe or you know Copa del Rey finals and things like that. There's no doubt that Emery had an edge at that level with those sorts of clubs that at least earned him the right to have a go at managing an elite club. Now it all started to go a bit downhill for him at PSG, and I think we're seeing a succession of that at Arsenal now, and I think a lot of it is to do with buying and players not necessarily buying into his methods the way that they used to do previously. Um, I always think back to the, like, you know, people, I hear the saying that people use that makes me laugh about, you know, managing footballers is like herding cats. And, you know, they can be really difficult to manage all these different egos in a dressing room and, you know, all these different players who've got their own individual needs and want different things and, it's hit or miss whether your ideas tactically are going to land and whether they're actually going to take on board what you're saying. I like to think now of Generation X plays, the past generation was like herding dogs. You know, they are always willing, 
but maybe just a little bit daft and you know not always carrying out the instructions that they're asked of and you know it wasn't easy to get a team organized but certain managers and managers like Emery that lead with extroverted thinking could get together a team with that mentality and organize them into a good unit that that got results nowadays when i say herding cats i just think that it's so there's so much more individuals the players now and the, the key question I always think that modern day footballers ask is, are you developing me and my career? In what you're asking me to do, is this going to make me a better player? Uh, it's not necessarily as much for the team dynamic or even the results on any given day. I think it's the players are more about their own personal development. You know, we're talking about a generation now that look at pre-season. Uh, you know, players used to go away for pre-season in the past generation and would come back unfit and they'd need a few weeks just to get back up to speed. You know, managers have persistently talk about this nowadays, that the modern day player doesn't need as much education about fitness, diet, nutrition. They're so much more clued up about tactics and the tactical nuance. So when a, when a coach or a manager steps onto a training field, a modern day player wants something different and something extra because they've already already gone away and learned a lot of it for themselves and it's for their own personal development you know in their own careers so they already know so much so now you've got to be adding something extra and I'm not sure whether Emery does add that something extra where those players in that Arsenal dressing room now for example see their careers being propelled to another level I think the kind of the, there's a there's a sense that Arsenal are just a club now that is going through the motions, has got no real, you know, uh, there's no real expectation to challenge for the title. So now it's can they get top four or not? And they just do seem to be going through the motions a lot. And when it comes to whether Emery is, I don't think his ideas tactically are at the cutting edge anymore. I think he's a very capable tactician who's capable of getting a team organised. But his ideas have got to land with the players. They've got to be taken on board. The players have got to buy in. And, you know, it's it's hard to believe now the success that Emery's had previously when you see some of the performances that, that you're getting from Arsenal and that lack of conviction and that lack of football identity that they seem to have at the minute. So, you know... I, I, I do think there's something in this idea that this could have been prevented, but we, we need to realise that a manager that uses extroverted thinking as his flow state and as his decision-making style, that means the feeling aspect on the other side of it is not really on the radar. Emery is not going to anticipate these human relationships and how things can turn sour. He was never going to anticipate that. that it was never going to enter his thinking that resting Granit Xhaka would be a good long-term option because of the dynamic that it might have with the supporters. That's not on his radar. He's just looking at each game as a project tactically. How's the best way to win this game? And if that included Granit Xhaka, it, it, you know, it, as the base of his midfield, then he's going to continue to play him and he's going to continue to to put him through these situations that you know have have led to this scenario now with the supporters. So. There we go. I, I do think that, that that is an aspect and I do think that when people say that Emery could have prevented this, he could have done but it's not in his nature to so we shouldn't really expect him to have, have seen this coming or dealt with it. That's not the type of manager he is.